This video will present an overview of the MyMTSS data system. It is a free access, web-based data system for entities across the educational cascade to gather and analyze data to support the continuous improvement of MTSS. ISDs, districts, and schools need access to the MyMTSS data system to participate in technical assistance center programs. We are going to start on the home page for the MyMTSS Technical Assistance Center. Here, you can find more information about our TA Center, as well as access universal supports and resources to help you to install and implement MTSS. If you click on Evaluation from the main menu and then My MTSS Data System, you will find information about the My MTSS data system as well as a link to the login page. You can also find a link for districts and ISDs to sign up to use the data system. If you have questions about this, we cover signing up for the data system in a separate video. Now let's take some time to explore some features of the My MTSS data system. Here's the login page for the My MTSS data system. While you can access it from the My MTSS TA Center website, you might want to consider bookmarking this page for easy access. Each user will have a unique login to access the system. The TA Center sets up accounts for the first one or two district or ISD staff. Those first few district or ISD staff are then able to add additional local user accounts with the appropriate access for entering and viewing data. Once a new user account has been established, users will receive an automated notification email from the data system with directions on how to log in and change their password. The My MTSS data system supports educators by providing a place to input and view data specific to MTSS. These data include progress in the installation of MTSS components, as well as outcomes related to the implementation of MTSS. By utilizing a common system for ISDs, districts, and schools, we increase the accessibility, usability, and effectiveness of the data we collect across the educational cascade. Dashboards and reports are specifically designed to support educators for use during the the continuous improvement process. By having capacity, fidelity, and student outcome data all available in a single dashboard, teams can efficiently view data patterns without sifting through multiple printed reports or logging in and out of multiple different data systems. Once you have logged in, you will be taken to a dashboard associated with your level of access. We have a state dashboard for statewide users, which you are seeing now. If you are an ISD user, the ISD dashboard is what you will see when you log in. If you are a district user, you will log in and see the district dashboard and so forth. We will start with a sample ISD dashboard to provide an overview of some of the available features. The home link will always take you back to the highest level dashboard you have access to. From there, you can search for and access any additional dashboards you have access to based on your user level. These are the tabs of data available in the ISD dashboard. Reach, capacity, district capacity, reading fidelity and outcomes, reading fidelity and engagement, behavior fidelity and outcomes, school details, and context. The system only houses aggregated grade level and school level student data. There are no student personally identifiable indicators housed in the MyMTSS data system. Next, we will show how the data systems support one another across the educational cascade. 
An ISD dashboard shows the data for all districts and schools within the ISD that are using the My MTSS data system. For example, on the district capacity tab, I can see district capacity assessment scores over time for all districts within the ISD that are using the My MTSS data system to store their DCA data. This can help our ISD team to examine patterns across districts and begin to formulate plans for how we might work within districts to grow and sustain their implementation infrastructure for MTSS. Now, I will show an example dashboard for districts. As you can see, many of the tabs are the same. The data that are housed on this dashboard, though, are specific to each district and the schools they support. On the Behavior Outcomes tab, district viewers can view district-wide patterns of discipline referral data. This district-wide view is a feature that is not available in the School-Wide Information System, or SWIS, but is beneficial for districts interested in looking at patterns across multiple schools to learn about how they can help schools with their PBIS efforts. Finally, let's take a look at a school dashboard. Again, the structure is the same, but the only data displayed are specific to an individual school. On the Reading Fidelity tab, schools can examine their implementation of the reading components of an MTSS framework over time. One feature that makes the My MTSS data system so effective is that as schools input data, they are fed to the district ISD, and state levels. This structure supports educators with having data readily accessible to support decision-making with a focus on the continuous improvement of MTSS across the educational cascade. As noted earlier, only aggregated student outcome data in the areas of behavior and reading are housed in the My MTSS data system. So how do data get entered into the My MTSS data system? We will next look at the data entry page. To access it, simply click on the data entry link from the main menu. State, ISD, and district users will need to first choose the entity for which they want to enter data. When you come to this page, you will see a menu of data entry options. Clicking on these will take you to the specific data entry screens. The available options on the main data entry menu will look different as you go from school to district to ISD. In conclusion, we'd like to address a few frequently asked questions regarding the My MTSS data system. As mentioned earlier, the My MTSS data system currently only houses aggregate student data. Regarding cost, the system is available to Michigan ISDs and districts for free. You do not have to be a partner with the My MTSS TA Center to use the data system. To access the My MTSS data system, a user agreement will need to be signed. Once signed, Districts and ISDs can manage users within their organization. Finally, the My MTSS data system currently leverages one active application programming interface with the University of Oregon to feed school-wide PBIS tiered fidelity inventory scores from the PBIS assessment platform nightly into the My MTSS data system. All other aggregate data will need to be entered manually from other data systems, which may include Swiss, Acadian's reading, and early warning indicator reports. Ongoing collaboration between the My MTSS TA Center and the Michigan Data Hub will inform future data integration efforts. 
all my MTSS data system users will automatically receive a monthly email communication called the My MTSS Data System News that includes information about recent updates to the system, as well as upcoming improvements.